Scott Stapp was a Christian. He knew the temptations of sin. When his band Creed sold millions of records, those temptations came fast and in multitudes. Scott Stapp sometimes had thoughts of suicide. He tried to banish them from his mind, but they never were completely gone. In the sinful city of Miami, Scott found himself in a high tower, worried for his soul and wobbly on his feet. Did Satan bid him to step into thin air? We don't know. What we do know is that Scott went off his hotel balcony and landed on a ledge far below, where he lay shattered and in great pain. He cried for help, but no one heard him. He felt abandoned. He struggled to keep his eyelids from closing. Scott now knew something for sure. He did want to live. Would the Lord deliver him, or would Satan claim his soul? Blood flowed from his broken body. It ran down the balcony and dripped over the edge. He prepared to give up the ghost. But under the balcony, outside a different hotel room, stood the rapper T.I. T.I. saw blood dripping from the roof above him and reasoned that he should investigate. He went up to have a look and found Scott in pain and contrition. T.I. was a man of many talents. He was a rapper, an actor, and a novelist. He was also a former convict and criminal. T.I. had been many things to many people. To Scott, he was a messenger sent to save him. T.I. got Scott to safety. Scott thanked God for sending him an unlikely angel. The paramedic who loaded Scott into the ambulance leaned down and told him, I'm a Creed fan, I love you guys, and winked. A few years later, T.I. was home in Atlanta when he heard on the radio that a man was threatening to jump from a 22-story building. He raced over and asked the police if he could talk to the man. They said all right, and T.I. found the words to convince the man not to jump. It seemed quite miraculous, but T.I. said, God put me in a position to help. I can't take any credit for that. The Lord works in mysterious ways, but don't take my word for it. Ask Scott Stapp or the angel T.I.